All right. Beach Friend Market. Secret home to the sins of Crone. Motorcycle Club Extraordinaire. If it ain't the president. Yeah. <laughs> That's me. Hello, everybody. I'm the Missing Zark. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto 5 online. All right. Today, we're going to expand our motorcycle club business a little bit more. Get ourselves a meth, meth lab. Yeah, we've talked many times about how the cocaine and the meth was the most profitable uh, MC businesses. But we never got around to getting ourselves a meth lab. So we're going to fix that today. So there is the sale that runs out on May 15th. It's May 16th, <laughs> late night. But we might still be able to cash in on this little sale. So save ourselves a little bit of money and start our uh, meth operations. Got a feeling it's a big seller in San Andreas. <laughs> Lots of crazy meth people around this uh, state. All right, so methamphetamine. So here we are. Yep, sales still going, 25% off. All right, so we don't want to go to the country, I don't think, even though it's inexpensive. I was thinking about this one in uh, Terminal. Yeah, on the map here, it's where we know. It's not exactly West Coast, but it's down in the city. We know that area. And then there's also the most expensive one, which maybe is the better one to go with, being that it's on sale, save the most money. And it's in Alboro Heights. And that is on the west side of the city. Or east, yeah, east side of the city. So, I don't know, I guess it's good for out-of-town sales. You just go right out. But it looks like it'd be a little bit of further distance to things like the airport and the coastline. But I think we might try it out. Alboro Heights. Old derelict perfect for cooking shit. <laughs> Neighbors are half dead with the smog, so no one's going to notice a little extra toxicity. <laughs> LOL. LOL. <laughs> Alright. Well, buy now. Normally 1.7 million, 29,000. We can get it for almost 1.3 million. Yeah. Well, a little bit of savings. Well, let's see if we can get those upgrades too before we run out of time. Buy now. Confirm. Purchase successful. That's what I like to see. All right, and another million plus lighter. All right, so now let's go check it out and see if we can get that set up and going. Yeah, <laughs> all right, let's go get it. Hi there, President. Bye, gotta go. Okay, so here we are arriving at our meth lab. Elbrow Heights. Let's see, how does this work? Oh, there's the blue, blue dot right over there. I see that. I want to call in our Duke of Death or something. Or maybe a bike, being that we're biking it at the moment. Part of our biker crew, our solo biker gang <laughs> at the moment. Alright, let's go inside. Woohoo, big day for our club. Go check it out. This is your meth cooking business. Production is suspended until the necessary supplies and setup equipment have been located and delivered. Once the business is up and running, your MC will be able to cook and sell meth in bulk. Hmm. Access the open road of insight on the secure laptop to get the business up and running. If you're here, you're able to locate the equipment and supplies needed to be in production. Select the setup option to get started. Okay, it's very similar to all the other ones. We've got our weed farm now and our cocaine place. So I thought it was about time we got our meth place going. You can lean on the rails there. Overlook all the operations. <laughs> we'll do that once we get some staff. Nice and open. Hmm, cleaner than I expected it to be. All right, let's access the website. Since go. Set up. You sure you want to start this business? I am sure. Oh, pops us in. All right, what's going on? All right, as you can see, we're almost good to go. We just need this first batch of supplies and we'll kick into gear. Exciting times, hmm. All right. Well, let's go. Go to Sonora Way. Click the truck and deliver it to the business. All right, ready we go, guys. Let's go get that truck. Bring it back. The driver will be needed on this run. Well, that's me. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Passing her on alternate swim farm. Looks like there's our truck. No targets. That's good. Might be a nice clean run. Or I might have some people come after us while we're in the uh, truck. So we'll have to get our weapons ready a little bit. Navy pistol. Let's get the truck bath set back to the myth farm. Myth lab. <laughs> yep, that's the truck, all right. Back to the lab, ASAP. trees. <laughs> Alright, away we go. We're on the map. I think we're alone. Yeah, there was somebody here, but they left. It's kind of random that way. An MTL Pounder commercial. I don't know if I've said this before, but this truck actually, not too bad. I mean, it's just a, well, just a truck, but but uh, compared to other things like the uh, parcel trucks and things like that, it actually has a little bit of go on this one compared to them. Dump trucks and uh, parcel delivery trucks that you sometimes have to use. Yeah. This seems to have a little bit better go. Everything you need to start a meth lab. One truck. <laughs> Just waiting for pickup. Alright. Take the cut off here. Gotta get used to the new ways to the new meth lab. Again, though, sometimes you shouldn't trust GPS. Sometimes you should go to the next exit. But I think we're on the right path in, uh, for this one. It's always nice when it's a nice uh, uneventful run. Whoa. <laughs> like I said, it's got more go than you think. Alright, looks like we're going up back. Alright, set up complete. Meth production has started. Oh, nice. Well, there's an equipment upgrade. This is the production area. Meth will be cooked and processed here once the staff arrive. Once processed, meth will be stacked around the storage area here. In order to maintain, production supplies will be used. Hmm. If the business becomes full of product or runs out of supplies, production will cease. You will need to pay production overhead, so check back in the business regularly to manage production. Yes, yeah, very regularly. And access the rope on road by web insight on the secure laptop to resupply the business at any time. From here, you'll also be able to cease production, sell product, and purchase upgrades that will make the business operate safer, smoother, and increase productivity. <laughs> hey. Delivery received. They've got what they need to start production. <laughs> Long John Teabag saying bye bye. All right. Thanks, LJT. All right. Yeah, that's a big difference. Yeah, big change. Big equipment upgrade. All right, now let's go log in the website. Log in. Buy upgrades. Oh, looks like we're too late for the sale anymore. Although I'm not sure if the 25% was also on the upgrades or not. 
Hmm, not sure about that part. But either way, we still got our uh, purchase price uh, off, so that's all right. Okay, well, let's get a security upgrade. That's badly needed. Oh, 513,000. Purchase this upgrade to install security personnel and surveillance equipment. This will reduce the likelihood of being raided by the cops or attacked by enemies. All right, confirm. 513,000. All right, oh, we got security cameras now. Right there, yeah. And we'll probably get a security guy a bit near the door or something like that. But probably not arriving yet until the staff arrives. Right, let's log in again. All right, buy upgrades. Staff upgrade. Might as well upgrade the staff even before they get here. Yeah, why not? Purchase the upgrade to hire more staff. This will speed up your production rate and improve the overall value of your product. Yeah, sure. Let's do that now. Hire more staff. You know what? I like your numbers, but get more people. Let's do it faster. <laughs> All right. Not sure if much changed from doing that. I imagine it will from the staff account. The staff amount. All right, and let's log in for the last upgrade. Buy upgrades. Equipment upgrade, $1.1 million. Whew. Purchase this upgrade to install higher quality equipment. This will speed up your production rate, improve the overall value of your product, and allow your supplies to stretch further. Hmm. Equipment upgrade, $1.1 million. Yes, I'm sure. All right. There, a little bit more lighter there. But the cocaine place makes lots of money. I think the meth place will too. Okay. Oh yeah. Yeah, everything's a little shinier now. Cool. Thermoskite. Huh. Don't want it. <laughs> oh, that's a, there's some serious meth production going on in here now. High tech. High tech production. Look at all this stuff. Awesome. Awesome, well, very cool guys. Now we just gotta wait for that staff to arrive. All right, yeah, then we'll be making some serious money. <laughs> All right, bring you guys back when we uh, check in on it again next time. Hopefully by then the staff's arrived. All right, a little while later, let's see how it's developing. on the rail and stare at our place. Work hard. <laughs> Work hard, everybody. All right. <laughs> All right, we got our door guy here, too. There. Looks a little bit more active than some of our other door guys, so that's good. Better keep an eye out. This is the meth place. They tend to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> Processing into packaging, yeah. Uh, into like blue meth. Yeah, I was gonna say like some kind of shatter or something that they're baking. Oh, cool. Cool, just for the showing <laughs> for having all this process. And, yeah, they're baking it into the. Uh, I don't know what you call it, the uh, the crackle, and then they're breaking it here, and then they take it apart there. Put into the pieces they, they need it the right weight, into the bags. Yeah, huh, crazy. And then I guess into the uh, containers, and these would be those containers right here. Cool. Interesting little process. All right, well, we'll have to come back check in more. Already worth uh, 60,000. Yeah. And the supplies are going down. Yeah, the supplies just went down just a touch, and product is going up. And uh, I'm just actually just uh, about to go into public session, but I'm actually in an invite-only session right now. Yeah, invite-only. Not even in the MC at the moment, just an invite-only session. Not attached to the company or the MC at the moment. Yeah. And just for those of you who want to note, some people believe that these uh, don't function 
in uh, invite sessions. Well, they do. They, I think they do function a lot slower, I do believe. But they do seem to function slowly, you know, little bits, uh, even in invite sessions, even when you're not in the MC. So it's good to go. All right. Yeah, I've been running. All right, come back and check in when we get some more, uh, some more product and get it some more supplies. All right, good work, team. <laughs> Wonder if my guy should have an outfit for being in here. <laughs> Don't touch anything. Alright, All right, let's get it in its first supplies. I think we're gonna buy this one. I'm sure it's gonna need more. But this one makes more, so we won't lose any profit. Well, we'll lose profit, but still make a profit. Yeah, that's it. Even with buying. All right, so it's been a little while. Let's have a look inside our uh, meth lab here. See how things are going. All right, product's full. Value says 238,000. Let's have a look inside the computer. So it looks like everybody's taking a break now. This guy's still cleaning out the vat. Yeah, good job. <laughs> All right, got a, got a lot of customers to impress across San Andreas. <laughs> Lots. All right, so let's log into our computer system here. Log in. All right, and sell stock. Okay, so there's the values. So if you're selling it out of town, which I always recommend generally, the more valuable sale. Okay, and that's 357,000. So it's about 420,000 for the cocaine lockup and 357,000 for the second best MC business, which is this one, the methamphetamine lab for 357,000. All right. Okay, and generally speaking, just in case you guys are wondering, um, you know, it's great to uh, steal supplies. Okay, obviously that's more profit. But these two top level businesses, the, coco the cocaine lockup and the methamphetamine lab, both of them are actually still profiting businesses, even when you're buying supplies the whole time throughout. All right, so they're definitely highly recommended businesses, although they are also the most expensive uh, businesses as well. Yeah, so I guess that's a bit of a trade off. All right, so now we have a cocaine lockup and a meth lab. Woo! I got a feeling that uh, San Andreas needs lots of meth. <laughs> they go through lots. I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good residual business. <laughs> All right, that's why we got a serious looking doorman in this particular business. Probably because, uh, yeah, yeah, lots of people be coming here <laughs> if they knew. From Blaine County, anyway. <laughs> All right, everybody, that is our meth lab. Yeah, start to finish. I'll bring you guys back for our uh, first sale, for our first first meth sale. <laughs> and until then, I'm the Mizzen Zock. This is more Grand Theft Auto V Online, and this is the MC Business, the Methamphetamine Lab. All right. Take care, everybody. Hopefully this helped you out. We'll see you again next time. If you're new, you should subscribe. It's uh, free. It really helps us out. We'll see you again next time. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. <laughs> All right, so I have to set up and do that sale. <laughs>